Alright guys, it's getting serious. U.S. issues security alert for Juarez after wave of drug cartel gang attacks on police. So these are the stories highlights that we're about to read. Drug cartel gunmen, gang members carry out coordinated attacks, set bus on fire. Juarez police, La Lina, Mexic Mexicli's gang formed alliance to attack police. Following a wave of coordinated attacks against police, the U.S. government issued a security alert for U.S. citizens in Juarez and Chihuahua City. The attacks left at least eight Juarez police officers wounded after gunmen ambushed patrol vehicles, fired at a police station, and set a public bus ablaze on Thursday night. The attacks were carried out by La Línea Crime Organization and the Mexicles Gang, previous rivals who have now become allies, authorities said. Chihuahua State Police and uh, Juarez uh, Municipal Police before patrolling together in Juarez together in 2018. La Línea is another name for the Juarez drug cartel. The Mexicans were aligned with the Sinaloa cartel during the drug cartel war years ago, years, uh, war years a decade ago. The U.S. Consulate in Juarez issued the security alert on Friday after Thursday's night of violence. Authorities believe that the members of organized criminals groups are carrying out these attacks, which are expected to continue, the alert stated. U.S. government personnel have been advised to avoid police stations and other law enforcement facilities in both cities to the extent possible until further notice. Mexican poli Mexico Police Army flooded border neighborhood and security operation in Juarez. The consulate advised U.S. citizens to beware of their surroundings at all times. Use caution when driving in heavy traffic and at night, driving with doors locked and windows up, and be prepared to take alternative routes home. Juarez Mayor Armando Cabada at a Friday news conference said that the attacks were a virulent reaction from drug dealers because of drug and weapon seizures made being made by police. So they're cracking down on, on the cartel and, and gangs and they're retaliating. Attacks strike Juarez police. Juarez police seized an arsenal of drugs and arrested a dozen alleged members of La Línea and the Mexicans suspected of being involved in the attacks. A, sus a suspect identified only as Luis Santiago EC35 named El Miclo, an alleged Mexicans gang leader, was among those arrested, police said. Juarez Brawl suspected in slaying of 11 people dies in Mexico State Prison. There were six attacks Thursday starting with shooting at 2 at 53 p.m. that wounded three officers in Tierra Nueva, or area of eastern Juarez Cabada. Oh, sorry. At about 3.15 p.m., shooters opened fire on police, wounded a policewoman who was hospitalized in critical conditions. Another female officer could be heard screaming for help, saying they had been attacked and her partner had been shot in a recording of a police radio transmission posted on the Diario de Juarez website. At 3.40 p.m., police thwarted another attack on an, on an officer in the downtown area. About an hour later, four officers were wounded in a shooting in the eastern part of the city, followed by gunshots fired at police station about in a, a half hour afterward. The wounded officers were reported to be hospitalized in stable conditions. Several suspected sicarios or hitmen were arrested after gunmen opened fire on a patrol vehicle shortly at, shortly before 8 p.m. in the Salvacar, Salvarcar area in eastern Juarez. All right, so we're going to read about this. Damn, this messed up. In a brazen display, gang members allegedly set fire to a public transport but bus used to block a street as a distraction during Thursday night attacks, police said. The bus driver told Channel 32 XJJCI that men with guns forced their way on board at a stop at a bus stop, robbed the passengers, and then ordered the drivers ordered the driver to turn the bus to the block the street to block the street. The gunman poured gasoline on the bus and passengers who were then ordered out before the vehicle was set on fire. The drivers told the news. A video titled Police Nightmare Night shared by La Polaca tabloid news website shows the bus in flames on the street. Mexican drug cartels have been known to utilize buses, semi-trucks, and other large vehicles in street blockades during battles, but the tactics has not been common in Juarez. There have been more than 60 homicides in Juarez already this month. According to the tally kept by Channel 44, there were more than 1,200 1, killings last year. Violence has also been raging in other parts of Chihuahua State. I told you guys, they're fighting right now. They're fighting over plazas. I mean, think about it. If these two gangs join forces, then that means that the cartels are becoming even more united. Or they're just set on one goal specifically. Remember, corruption is no longer is no longer being taken um is being taken lightly. 
AMLO is cracking down on all corruption at all levels of government. So this is probably a retaliation from the gangs and cartels because, yes, they're taking down their arsenal. They're going after them because there's no more corruption, guys. So this, this is pretty much expected to be happening for, for quite some time until, you know, there's more security and the National Guard in Mexico is, 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 is set and set out in, in cities in, all over the Mexico. All over the Mexico, all over Mexico. And this is crazy. Somehow I knew all of this was going to start happening because, like I said, there's an underground war that's happening in Mexico, especially at the border. The border is where the money comes. It's where the cartels get all their money from. So this is just, man, it's crazy. All right, guys, catch you later.